Good morning and welcome to our virtual experience at St. Luke Amy Church in downtown Hollywood. It's time for our virtual church school with Sister Bernhel Smith, our church school superintendent. Good morning, good morning, my St. Luke family this morning. We give God thanks and we give God praise on this beautiful, beautiful Easter Sunday morning. God is so much worthy to be praised. If you have your books with you, let's look at our lesson this morning on page 28. We are looking at lesson five in this quarter, April 4th, 2021. And our subject today is the suffering servant bring salvation the suffering servant bring salvation and our lesson scripture is coming from isaiah chapter 52 verse 13 chapter 53 verse 12 luke chapter 24 verse 1 through 35 and our focus scripture is coming from isaiah chapter 53 verses 4 to 11. let's read our key verse and I'll give us read, but he was wounded for our transgression, crushed for our iniquity. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. Looking at our first um, three verses, it says, Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases. Yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression, for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has led on him the iniquity of all of us, of all of us. So when we go astray and, and, and we turn to our wicked ways of living, remember that our Lord, only begotten Son, all was laid upon him. All was laid upon him. And, and he died for our transgression, for our way of living, our evil, wicked ways of living. And he was crushed for our iniquities. So remember that Jesus died for us. It was all for us. And that's when it says, he said, but he was wounded for our transgression didn't say his and he said he was crushed for our iniquity and upon him was the punishment that made us whole made us whole it was what he went through that made us whole and in this lesson this morning it's talking about the women mary magdalene mary magdalene on the road to amias and as Mary Magdalene and some other women was on the road to Amias. Amias is a little village about seven miles from Jerusalem. And as Mary Magdalene and then some of the women uh, who was also followers of Jesus, uh, they went to the tomb because they heard that Jesus has risen. So when they went to the tomb to see where Jesus was, the tomb was empty. To their surprise from what they have heard so the women went back and and they told the disciples that Jesus uh, has risen and the disciples looked upon them and found it to be a bit difficult to believe because they were there they were there when they hung him on the cross they were there when they nailed him to the cross they were there when he was crucified dead and buried it was a bit difficult for the disciples to believe this there was two disciples who was walking down the road they were heading 
um, to uh, Amias. And as they were heading to Amias, they were talking about all that have happened uh, that was going on around them. And um, so then there's come this strange man upon them who joined them and they walk on down the road. So the man asked them, what were you men talking about? So the men stopped and paused and they looked down, they looked very sad. And as they looked very sad, they told him about the Messiah, that this prophet of Nazareth, who they had turned over um, to uh, the, the priests and his followers and his uh, rulers, the high priests and the rulers have turned over uh, Jesus of Nazareth um, to uh, be condemned and be crucified. And they were sad about that because they knew that Jesus from Nazareth, uh, the prophet, would have been the savior of Israel. But now that they had destroyed him and take his life, then who would save Israel? So they were a bit saddened about what was going on there. But now we were told by the women that Jesus has arisen. But the tomb was empty. They even say that they saw the vision of angels. And when they saw the vision of angels, who said that Jesus is alive? But some of the group of women went back to the tomb. They did not see Jesus. Jesus was not there. The body was not there. So <clears throat> this is what they told this strange man not knowing that they were talking to Jesus so Jesus said to the man you foolish man you foolish man why are you so slow to believe all that the prophet had told you didn't he tell you that he was going to return how you not believe that he would have returned. So, as Jesus continued to speak to them, he said that all that happened to him was necessary. It was necessary. These things had to happen into his glory. It had to happen. Sometimes we go through things that have to happen in order to God to get the glory. It had to happen. So as Jesus continued talking to these men, he began to quote the scriptures of Moses and, Mo and scriptures of his own. These men now draw near, interested in everything that he's saying. So they ask him, "Could you, would you stay with us tonight? Could you stay? The evening is drawing near." So Jesus took them up, took them up upon. The uh, they offered to stay, but remember, they still do not recognize who he is. But as they sat down to eat, Jesus break bread and he blessed it. And then they handed it to them. Now they recognize it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. Within the hour, the men rushed back to Jerusalem and letting them all know that Jesus has risen and Jesus is alive. Doesn't it feel good to know that when you feel that you're walking all alone, that Jesus is with you? When you realize that you're walking all alone, not knowing that Jesus is with you. And what it feels like when Jesus carries you all the way. Sometimes when you're just all by yourself and feel like all your windows and doors are closed, God is with you. This is when he carries you all the way. Just continue to trust God and be there as a witness for God day in and day out. Don't ever give up. Let somebody else know all about Jesus. Share that. Pray for those ones who are going through things in intercessory prayer. That's what God wants us to know. Because remember that he died for each and every one of us. You are a child of a king. God would never leave us or forsake us. Never. I remember 
one of my co-workers told me she said she went in to have a business put together a cleaning business and when she came upon the building to walk in her thoughts start changing because she had all of this already set how much I'm going to make and what I'm going to do what all is required for me to do because I want to make this kind of money that kind of money the Lord put in her spirit that when she gets in there be concerned about others when she walked in she said how many people can I hire how many people can I hire that I can put food on their table I can do what God has done for me just bless me I want to be a blessing to somebody else and that's what God wants us to do be a blessing to somebody else he died he was wounded for us for us and all that you go through all the blessing that stores upon you don't forget to bless her all the glory goes to God your success all the glory goes to God at this time let us do our closing let's do our closing isn't God awesome let's do our closing and he is worthy to be praised he is worthy to be praised in our closing devotion, as his closing him a song and praise, I know that the Redeemer lives and that him is coming from him 167. I know that the Redeemer lives. And our closing prayer is God, we give you glory. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. Death is defeated and our victory is won through the blood that was shed on Calvary's cross. The vision has changed to light and life. And we are now here to this divine promise of everlasting life. Thank you for your eternal life. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for your justice that redeemed me and paid the price for all of my sin. Now I am made whole. I am free. Amen, amen, and hallelujah. May God add a blessing to the hearers and the doers of his word. Happy Easter Day. May God bless you. We invite you to tune in again next Sunday morning at 1030 for another amazing lesson from the church school department. Stay tuned because coming up at 930 a.m. is a very special Easter presentation by our young people's department.